In this video, we're going to talk about what web applications are, how they work, and how Rails figures into that. So let's talk about what is a web application. In the simplest terms, which is this diagram, is a very simple diagram, you have a web browser that makes a request, generally by asking us for a specific page from a web application. And that web application interacts with a database. Now, the web application and the database may or may not exist on the same server. And that's really not germane to our training here. In what we're going to be doing, the database will be existing on the same machine. That just makes it easier for development purposes. In a production environment, uh, you'll have to work out whether there's that much strain on your server if they can exist in the same place. Now once that web application makes the request to the database, it'll generate HTML and JavaScript and send that back to the web browser, which then renders that information coming back from the web application. And then it's basically how you get view of data that's inside of a database. Now, there's a term that we use to talk about this simple type of web application that interacts with a database, and that's called CRUD. That's not a disparaging term. It simply means create, read, update, and delete. And this is a very simple interaction with a database where you're creating records, reading records, updating records, and deleting records. And there's many applications that we deal with that, that do this kind of interaction. Now, in general, web applications generate HTML and JavaScript that the web browser renders. Sometimes, however, there's web applications that interact in a more advanced way using something like uh, the Flash Player, where they generate Swift files. Or in the case of Microsoft, they generate ActiveX components that Internet Explorer can then render. And generally, that's user interface items that are more advanced. We're not going to be covering that in this series of videos. We're going to simply limit ourselves to Rails programs that generate HTML and JavaScript that the browser renders. So how, a little bit more deep, how does a Rails application actually work? The model that the Rails framework uses to, to create web applications is called model view controller. And those are specific components. And in Rails, they actually are specific files. So you will have model files, view files, and controller files, each of them containing different types of programming code to create your application. And they work together to create your web application. And in future videos, I will cover more in depth what each of those objects really are in a more intense fashion. In this simple diagram here, the model interacts with our database. The view interacts and creates the HTML and JavaScript that our web browser generates. And our controller ties the model and the view together. And it's kind of the master controller for this stuff. So let's take a look at how a web browser interacts with this Ruby on Rails application. So a web browser makes a request. And that request goes to a controller. And that'll generally be just a, a URL. And we'll see in future videos how that gets set up and constructed. That controller will interact with the model. And the model will interact with the database, giving us back information, live information from our database. The model will give that back to our controller. The controller will then, at that point, generate a view. And the view will finally kick back HTML and JavaScript to our web browser, which will display that information. This happens very fast, and this is actually quite a broad overview of how this interaction happens. But if you can gain this understanding of how this actually works, your applications will, will be much better because you'll have a, a deeper understanding of how the code flows and how the web browser interacts with this code. And as I said in future videos, we'll cover more in depth each of these components and what's involved with coding them in Ruby on Rails.